four weeks. That's right, four weeks. Linear algebra in four weeks. Is it possible? Is it a good idea? Should you do it? In this video, I wanna talk about taking linear algebra and learning it in a very, very short time frame. This video is inspired and motivated by a very, very short email that I received from a subscriber here on the channel. So I'm gonna start by reading this email and then doing my best to answer it. If you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. When you leave comments, it helps other people. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get to it and keep this video short. The person's name is Ravi and the subject is Summer Linear Algebra. Hi, Math Sorcerer, I hope you are well. Thanks for taking the time to read my message. I wanted to get your advice. I am taking linear algebra over the summer session at my school, which is four weeks. That is crazy. That is so fast, right? Four weeks and you have an entire course on linear algebra. However, I am scared that it will be so fast paced and difficult to master in four weeks, despite others doing it. I am very big on self-study before the class, even to the point of obsession. I am officially in calculus two but have already self-studied Calculus 2, and am now self-studying Calc 3, in addition to five college classes. What do you think about this? Do you think linear algebra over the summer is okay? What about the self-studying? So, four weeks, if I'm gonna be completely honest here, is really fast. I have taught six-week courses, and eight week courses and 12 week courses and 15 week courses, uh, but six is the shortest I've ever taught. Could you do it in four? Yeah, you probably have to have class every day and I'm assuming you will have class every day. I think it's possible and I think you can do it. And the fact that you're asking this question implies that you want to do it, right? You, you, you want to do it, but you're scared. You think it's too much. Based on what you told me about self-study, I think you can do it. And I think you should do it. Try it. Why not, right? If you really want to do it, go for it. However, I do have some other tips for you. So you've mentioned that you're really good at self-study. So you definitely want to perhaps, if possible, start self-studying now before the class starts. The best way to do that is going to be to find out what, what book you are using for the course. So try to find out what book is going to be used and get a copy of it. Now I know that, you know, we live in the modern age. So most courses that you take in college don't require the physical book. They just basically have you buy like a homework code and you can get an ebook. I still recommend you get the, the book and you can get used copies of the book. It doesn't have to be the same edition, right? So just get an older edition of whatever book you're using for the course. And then just do a little bit every day. I think it's better to do it in the morning, but whenever you can do self-study, that's when you should do it. But the morning is the best, I think. As far as books, if you want an additional book, I do actually have one here that is wonderful on linear algebra. It's called Elementary Linear Algebra by Howard Anton. And the reason I recommend this one for your linear algebra in four weeks, which is super, super quick, right? Four weeks is like, I mean, it's insane. There's a reason I recommend this one over all the other ones. It's because this one is more standard. The contents in this book are very in line with what you'll probably see in your linear algebra course, okay? It's probably very similar. The exercises in this book are going to be perhaps similar to the exercises you actually see in your linear algebra class. So if you're doing homework in your linear algebra class, chances are the exercises, oh, that smells really good. The exercises in this book are going to be very, very similar to the exercises in your linear algebra course. If you take a test, chances are many of the test questions will be very similar to the exercises in this book. Also, this book is for beginners and it's a great book. So, and this might even be the book you're using for your course. I mean, there's, there's a chance, right? This book is wildly popular. This is an older edition. This one is from, wow. Wow, it looks like this one's from 1977. That's the copyright. And the original one is from 1973. 
But this is a wonderful book on linear algebra that is perfect for self-study, and it's cheap. I'll try to remember to uh, leave a link in the description uh, in case you want to check it out. But yeah, I think you should do it. Again, I think the fact that you're asking that question means that you want to do it. I think a lot of times in life when we're looking at possibilities and we're looking at something in front of us that's hard, like taking a hard math class, for example, and you say, oh, I really want to take this class, but, but I'm nervous. I think sometimes it's, be it's better to just jump in. Jump in and swim with the sharks and, and learn. Four weeks is crazy. Most people would say it's too fast, right? Most, if you went to like an academic advisor uh, at your college and, you know, they, you ask them, should I take linear algebra in four weeks? They, they might say it's a bad idea with, with good reason, right? With good reasons. I mean, a lot of people, I, I think it would be too much. But you specifically said that you were very good at self-study. You self-studied calculus too. Uh, and you're taking five classes right now, it says. Uh, you're self-studying Calc 3 in addition to five college classes. So, yeah, you're good at learning. So I think in your case, do it, right? Do it. Go for it. Just start studying now if possible. Uh, I'm just checking the date of this email. Yeah, so this email is fairly recent, so you still have some time. You still have some time for the summer semester, probably a month or two, or maybe less than two months for sure, but it's coming up in a few weeks, the summer semester, I'm assuming. So yeah, do it. Do it, my friend. Ravi, summer linear algebra, four weeks. I actually didn't even know that that existed. Like I didn't even know that they had four week classes and that's why I wanted to make this video. I was like, four weeks, what is going on? How can you do linear algebra in four weeks? Well, I guess you can do it, right? I mean, I've taught six week courses in college algebra and uh, six week courses in statistics. So I've taught those and those are usually, they usually meet every day, five days a week. It's pretty rigorous and the students do really well, right? The students do really well. They do really well because they're there every day. I've had, you know, I feel like I've had really good success with that. So, yeah. So you could do it with linear algebra in four weeks. That's my advice. If anyone else has advice for Ravi on learning linear algebra, maybe some other book recommendations, other study tips, uh, do you think it's a bad idea? I mean, the argument can be made that you're not really going to become a master. I think you mentioned that. You said in your message, uh, let me find it here. Uh, other people can do it. And you said, I am taking linear algebra over the summer semester at my school, which is four weeks. I'm scared it will be so fast, despite others doing it, right? And others do it, but they might not master it. You said master it in four weeks. I don't know if you can master it in four weeks, right? That's, that's, I don't know about that, but you can probably take the course and get an A and get through it and learn a lot of math. But to really master it in four weeks, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's really realistic. You know, when you, when you take a math course, you don't really learn everything in the course. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to become a master at any class. If you take Calc 2 and you get an A on every test, are you really a master of Calculus 2? No, you're just really good at it and you know a lot of it, but you, you get better. You get better. You know, I, I took a bunch of math classes and went to college for several years. And then it, it wasn't until I started teaching and, and redoing the problems and really thinking about things that I started, I, I got better at it. You, you always can get better at things. So you, your linear algebra can always get better, even after you take the course is my point. But yeah, I'm ranting. Do it. Do it. If you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is a reputable place to have courses. Like it's a legit site. It's very, you know, it's a big website and um, they're great. However, if you get them, please use the links from my website because I've lowered the price to the bare minimum. So when you use my links, you will get a low price, mathsorcerer.com. If you have any advice for Ravi, leave a comment in the comment section below. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.